Last year when people were talking about Tesla Semi coming very soon as was promised by Tesla, I was telling everyone, wait people, we first need to see permits for special Tesla Semi mega chargers. Until we don't see permits for Tesla mega chargers for Tesla Semi or Tesla building mega chargers for Tesla Semi, do not rush. Tesla Semi is not coming. When the coming of Tesla Semi gets close, the first thing before that we will see Tesla mega chargers and guess what tesla is building out mega chargers for tesla semi at gigafactory the first mega charger will reportedly be used to charge electric semis for trip from nevada to fremont makes very good sense welcome back very friends this is armin harian from the talknews.com if you are here the first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also give us thumbs up if you find this report informative avid tesla fan and outspoken investor sawyer merritt on twitter posted images on twitter showing what appears to be the first tesla mega charger being installed at the company's nevada gigafactory merritt tends to get access to Tesla information from insiders on a regular basis and his track record for accuracy has been pretty spot on in many cases as noticed by Stephen Loveday of uh, uh, Inside EVs. While it comes as no surprise, Tesla is deploying its first mega charger and it's also no shock that it will be located at the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. It's still interesting to learn that the automaker is moving forward forward with the project this tells me that tesla is getting very serious about tesla semi as that means tesla is going to have the semis probably moving car parts from gigafactory to fremont i'm assuming tesla will move uh, tesla batteries from gigafactory nevada to the fremont factory this is why they need tesla uh, mega charger i don't know off the top of my hand how is the distance between uh, gigafactory and to Fremont factory if you guys know please let me know before i watch me i'm reporting now and don't don't want to stop the reporting in order to see the distance but i think one mega charger uh, it will probably be enough if you fully charge it will probably be enough to get you from uh gigafactory in nevada to Fremont factory do you think so is it like around 500 600 miles distance probably so so i'll look forward to your comments on that as tesla works to test the electric semi it only makes sense sense that it would need the appropriate charging infrastructure it's assumed the infrastructure itself would need to undergo plenty of testing as well speaking of infrastructure i was talking and thinking if the distance between the nevada gigafactory to fremont factory is more than one charge uh, tesla will easily build another gas station kind of quote unquote a uh, charging station um, somewhere in between uh, for the cars to make a stop charge themselves again and keep going to the fremont factory back and forth moving stuff as you can see from the tweet uh, of merit merit also adds the information that tesla may be using the upcoming mega charger for testing tesla semis on the route between sparks nevada and tesla fremont factory however there is no reason tesla couldn't also include its upcoming austin gigafactory in the testing route too so i think soon we will see tesla mega charger from Gigafactory Texas to Nevada to Fremont. This is an important route for Tesla to move stuff, to move parts, to move supplies. And also, I think the next mega chargers for Tesla semis will be from major Tesla supply chain uh, sources where Tesla is getting supplied and also Tesla's main customers. Like if it's going to be Walmart, I believe some um, large companies, I believe with UPS also and some others ordered 100 of tesla semis so tesla will quickly build mega chargers for them on their major routes uh, short haul or mid uh, range holes uh, in order for them to operate tesla announced the upcoming semi mega chargers back in 2017 the company claimed they'll be able to add some 400 miles of range in 30 minutes of charging which would be very advantageous for semi drivers and fleet merit also shared some other photos of the semi site um, actually photos of the same site in august this way it's easy to see tesla's progress 
on the project. How can we be sure that these are mega chargers? Well, Tesla is quite secretive about projects like this, says Stephen Loveday from Inside EVs. He says, by this we mean it doesn't necessarily try to hide them, but it also doesn't typically make announcements when such efforts are underway. However, if you look at the mega chargers in the images provided by Tom, uh, Merit, um, you can see that they're, uh, they're set up to accommodate a very long vehicle. We also know Tesla has an area on the Gigafactory grounds that it will use to produce electric semis at least early on. And now when I say Gigafactory grounds, I mean Gigafactory Nevada because that's another name for Gigafactory Nevada. They just simply call it Gigafactory. Now, according to Electric, Tesla finished a drive axle production line earlier in the summer and it also reportedly started debugging the assembly line. So in my opinion, we're getting very close to Tesla semis production, at least some small scale production. I don't remember off the top of my head which battery the semi will be using. Last I heard it was not going to be the 46AD new denser battery, but who knows, maybe it is, especially if Tesla is getting close to that. So guys, if you know what battery Tesla will be using for the semi production, let me know in the comment section as well. And if you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. Tesla says its first semi deliveries will not begin until sometime next year due in part to a lack of enough battery cells. However, Electric says to expect more pre-production semis sooner rather than, uh, rather than later. Also, uh, so let me know your thoughts on that uh, before I move on with something small on another case. Uh, what do you think about Tesla semi, friends? When do you think it will come and what does this sign uh, of Tesla building semi uh, mega chargers for Tesla semi of, or at least a longer vehicle tell you. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts. I think, uh, and also please tell me what do you think Tesla semis will play? What role they will play in Tesla's supply in moving uh, parts from one gigafactory to another? Do you think Austin will be next uh, location for mega chargers that we will see? Uh, so Austin. In Nevada, Fremont, that kind of route. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, friends. Also, uh, today, October 4th, marked the end of the deadline for the hearing at Giga Berlin, which allows all those who have submitted objections, discussing them by mail with the Brandenburg authorities. The final construction permit for Tesla Giga Berlin should be issued, in my opinion, in the next few weeks. Theoretically, the permit could be issued any day now after the discussions end about Giga Berlin. But but uh, we assume that the uh, authorities need time to put everything together and make it legally sound. Early November should be a realistic expectation and for Giga Berlin's final permit to come. Any time before that would be a positive surprise. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up for this video if you found it informative. Have a great day and also sharing social media friends that greatly appreciates would be appreciated and it will be a good support for us. God bless you everyone. Uh, please be with all of you. I'll see you soon in our next report.